Hey guys, Soul Summer here, and today I didn't have a video planned for uh, The Sims 3 because um, I like had a master update and that didn't work out. So I don't know when we'll be seeing Generations the family again, but I'm sorry for that. But uh, today, maybe I'm going to show you a bit of my Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, Grand Household. Uh, I do not have any custom content or mods in my game if you have anything that won't ruin it because, oh my god mods in the mod that I got for Sims 3, that ruined my entire life. <laughs> Not even, no joke. It was terrible. Um, it was like Kanye on a Sunday. So we're not going to go over that again. But if you have any virus free custom content, just hair pieces, because I know there aren't, there's a lot of hairs that come with Sims 2 in all the expansion packs and stuff. But, um, there isn't a lot of just, like, normal ones. Like, there's a lot of hats and, like, dragon outfits. Anyway, hairs, makeup, leave that down below. So uh, today I'm going to be showing you the Hughes family. Now I have been playing the Hughes family for about, oh this is kind of sad, but like only a week. <laughs> I've gone through like four generations and it's only a week. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and show you their family tree. Um, so it started off with, uh, if this will load, started off with uh, my bae's, <laughs> my bae's Soph, oh I'm just going to show you here, uh, Sophie and Tom or Thomas, I guess, um, Sophie was into, like, she was really sweet, she was into mar marine biology, just a really caring person, um, and then, okay, something just notified me about stocks, anyway, and then Tom was really educational, but he kind of was a loser, and he kept getting fired from his job, anyway, just a really, um, intellectual guy, and then they had Cindy, and they only had Cindy, um, because they had her really late in life, I think they were, like, when she turned into a child, they were, like, uh, elders, like, a few days after she turned into a child. So they had her late, and, um, in response, uh, Cindy was a very quiet child, I guess, um, since her parents both worked full-time, and I definitely did want to have more kids with them, but anyway, this is a summary. So, they just, uh, I just stuck with little Cindy here, and, um, actually, sad, sad note, uh, Cindy, when she was about to go on her first date with Jack, you'll meet him soon, um, in high school, <laughs> Her mom walked outside, took a picture, and then, like, died. And I, it didn't make any sense because I had checked how long they were going to live for, like, in the morning. And she still had, like, ten days to go. So that was weird. But um, I called it a natural accident. Natural accident. <laughs> um, natural nature. Na natural death causes. We'll call it that. And so Cindy had a very sheltered life. She went to college, I think, for drama because she was very athletic. Like, sh at first she was, like, a little cute pink, tw like, princess, toddler, child, and then, like, she slowly started breaking out of that because she realized, like, our parents were way too into, like, gender roles. So then she became, like, this complete athletic rebel in her teen years, and then she kind of died down, but she was still really athletic and just uh, sporty and creative, and so she was a tap dancer, I believe, yeah, for the duration of her life, and she just was, you know, that nice active mom, and because, uh, yeah, she w majors in drama in high, sc in high school, in college, because she just, uh, that was the only suggested, uh, like, major that had, like, sports involved, even though it didn't, so you need to get on that EA, just kidding, you don't own the Sims 2 franchise anymore, but, you know, I'd get on it, <laughs> and so then she was dating this guy, like, uh, I forgot his name, I think it was New something with an N, um, it was like a four, no, Sebastian, Sebastian, and she was dating this guy named Sebastian, turns out that he was a tourist, we had a thing going, if you know what I'm saying, but he lived across the world, and, like, he lived in a vacation lot for some reason, and so it'd be, like, invite us house guest, and then he'd never show up, so we kind of got bored, and then I called up this guy, Jack Hughes, uh, no, what was his name? Oh my god, I just realized. His name was Jack Kim. Why are we still, s <laughs> we named the whole family after Hughes when it should have been Kim. It should have been like Tabitha Kim. Anyway, that's kind of upsetting. Um, I guess EA did just did not do the gender roles either and got her last name dominant. I don't care. Um, that's kind of sad. But <laughs> so he was um, that date that she tried to go out with um, right before her mom died. Tragic. Um, so that kind of scarred her and she didn't really go on a date with him again. But turns out they were in love. Whatever. He liked families. He liked being sporty. Then they got married and I found out 
that he wanted a big family and she wanted a big pet family. And with the past of having one child, of course I had to go all out and have a massive freaking family, as you do. And so um, they had six kids. <laughs> <laughs> that was so upsetting for me to say. And I wanted to, them to get six pets because I was like, you know what? I can handle this. We had a butler. We got Corbin. Let's do this. Let's get a lot of pets. But we could only have two pets, which I mean was fine. None of them really accomplished their aspirations anyway. Um, so, but at least we tried. We had a big family. We had fun. So Jack, um, really loving father, always with a beard. Super cute. I'm going to try to go quickly. Um, then their first daughter, Tabit. I actually forget who was born first they had three sets of twins um i got him i think cindy like got pregnant and then i like realized that we didn't get the reward for like the multiple births thing so then i got jack that and then i realized um and then i was like it, it isn't gonna work because obviously they already tried for baby so um i don't know if that was the result of the reward which is like um fertile or they had twins naturally the first time. But anyway, really cool twins. I think Max was born first because I was like, oh my god, we got a girl, whatever. Uh, no, or maybe I can't even remember. Um, but Tabitha and Max. Max is kind of a shy guy, but really family-oriented, as you will learn. And um, Tabitha is really creative, kind of quiet, just like a brother. And she's just the cutest little prettiest sim I've ever known. And then Alex and Sam, they're the male twins. Sam is the more dominant one. He's very athletic, sporty, popular, and then Alex is the nerd. <laughs> um, and then Ariel and Jackson, they were born um, pretty late in their life stage because you know how Sims days go by, but um, like in real life, my days don't go by where I'm like just warming up to having kids for the first time thing. So I don't speed up the process. There was a big gap. <laughs> Um, but they're elders now, and <laughs> they still have two children, which is whatever, because they're not aging right now, because we're in college. I wish story progression happened. Thank you, EA. Uh, <laughs> so then, um, Ariel and Jackson were born. Jackson is older than Ariel. I know that for a fact, because I was like, yeah, a girl, <laughs> another girl. And Ariel's kind of, um or Ariel, I don't really know how to pronounce it. She's like a little crazy, I guess you would say, just like a little insane, but there isn't any traits for that. And so she's just kind of like outgoing. She's out there, let's just say that. And then uh, she's, of course, I dyed her hair red because <laughs> everybody has black hair. There isn't um, really detailed hair, like color in The Sims 2, but whatever. And then Jackson is the um, little boy. He's kind of crazy, like his twin, Ariel. Um, but he's like more of a troublemaker, I guess. He's just kind of insane. And then, <laughs> and then we have Julia Ro Julia Ronick. Ronick. Julia Rennick, which is the uh, the daughter of Max and his girlfriend Vivian. So um, that's good. They're in college right now. I know things didn't happen as expected, but whatever, because Vivian is kind of like clingy. So she's just like her life story is like she is like determined to get Max to marry her. So she kind of trapped him, if you know what I'm saying. And then they'll get married eventually. I don't know when. Either way, he's a really family oriented sim. So it worked out good. They love each other. <laughs> So that's the family. Um, you pretty much got a detailed description of all of them. I'm going to go ahead and show you the house. This is a pre-made college house. Um, in They live in Sim State University right now, which is where um, S Cindy went. I keep thinking that this is Cindy, but it's Tabitha. They all look so alike. I remember I called Cindy Sophie. Oh, my God. Okay. This is Tabitha. So that's where their mom, Cindy, went to school. So that's where I wanted them to go to school. And so um, it's just kind of a neutral place. It's wintertime right now, so that's why we have the Christmas tree out. Um, yeah, when EA could incorporate um, religion into the game <laughs> uh, before everything went downhill. So I edited, uh, I decorated this place when um, we just moved in, so we didn't have that much money, but it's kind of mismatched. <laughs> but it's fine because you can't. Oh my god, I'm dying. You can't have um, jobs when you're in college, so that's kind of interesting. Um, so, basically, you walk in, it's pretty basic. I should probably do a redesign, but we're not going to be in here for that long. I mean, like, it's their college place, and I'm sick of it already. So, um, the Christmas tree is over here in the art corner. We got a desk uh, for a computer, them to talk to their bays, do whatever. I got this mango, mango drink in front of me. Delish. Um, so... Then, um, they, 
they all were really obsessed with um, the computer growing up. That was their only source of fun since their parents were so busy. I know, teardrop, like if you cry every time. And then, um, so basically they had to have a computer and then this mismatched dining area, whatever. They started drinking as soon as they moved in. So I got a bar because you know what? They're adults now. They're cray cray. Um, they are way older than their siblings. <laughs> so you know what? They deserve that. They've been going through some hardships, if you know what I'm saying. We got this pink pre-made um, kitchen that came in. I added, like, the garbage and uh, nice flooring. And then we got this holiday... What is this thing? Uh, what is this thing? What is this thing? I... Th uh, I'm... No, I'm not even getting it. Just that circular Christmas tree ribbon thing. And then, since it is almost Christmas, I don't know if I'm going to, like, put out cookies, but we'll see. And then upstairs, the same wood. I don't know why there is stink everywhere. Okay, um, so basically this is their upstairs. It's, their upstairs is like pretty chill, um, I guess you would say. Um, it's just kind of decorated, if you know what I mean. It started off with these three bedrooms. I gave Tabitha the biggest one because Obvi, and she has this little puppy portrait in her room because she likes pets just like her, her mom Cindy because they grew up with a lot of pets. And, um... This is her room. Just kind of put some ribbons there. Not for festive reasons. Just because, like, I thought, like, it'd be so cute. Like, their parents gave them those awards because they're so proud of them. Like, just encouragement. And then this bathroom is hideous. It's just extra. I don't even know why it's there. <laughs> and, like, somehow it, this house came with three bathrooms. And I was, like, not necessary. So I deleted the one on the bottom floor. Um, but anyway, so then we have Max, <laughs> Max and Vivian's room. They are dating nothing more right now. I don't know when I'm going to get to them to propose, but they want to. So, I mean, that's all that matters. Um, yeah, she's kind of obsessed with it at the moment. But anyway, so this is their room. It's kind of basic and blue. It just has their alarm for when they need to go to school. I know they were not expecting Julia, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> I feel like I wasn't expecting it, but I did. I'm not like the kind of person who wants like a perfect family life. I want stories. Like I want the cheating to go down. I want the plot twist in their life. Um, not that I want bad things to happen to them. I just want them to have like character it builds character everything builds character and um <laughs> so then this was a blank room but i was gonna actually end up putting all of their um teen siblings in this room with them i was gonna put alex and sam in when they go to college um which would be in a few days but no because <laughs> i don't believe in like aging sims up before they had their full life and um story progression is off when your sims when you're not in that family so it'll be just them for a while and um Basically, we got Julia in here, um, their daughter, their daughter, <laughs> um, they're going to have a fun life with her. I don't know if they'll have any more kids. Probably I'll just like get them to do it before they leave just so that I can build character because, <laughs> um, yeah, if you want things to happen to your family before they move out, you got to plan that. So then we got the same pup. Sorry, I, I got off topic. Um, this is her room. Really cute. I love it. I don't know why there's, like, shadows over here. It's really hard to place things because it, like, flips every time I put it down. Weird. <laughs> Let's just say EA lied to me. And so um, it's kind of pink. I wanted it to be purple at first, but trust me, there are no purple decorations. And so there's just this little rag doll bear and just um, some necessities. I love these little professional... Um, uh, oh, ow. <laughs> my arm on the desk. This furniture that is really classic and just nice white wood. Um, and uh, her crib is pink. Ain't pink. <laughs> I love doing that. And just like dresser, everything. The curtains are pink along with the little puppy posters. I love her room so much. I took so many pictures. I'll show you. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Took tons of pictures. This is actually Alex. Um, they had a barbecue the other day and I just incorporated everything everybody came over so many pictures so they have a good fun they have a good fun life <laughs> if you would say um uh i guess that's pretty much all for their house really basic really boring they're moving out soon it's really a lot more pretty on the outside i must say sorry ea but um basically that's their house and now i'm just gonna introduce a bit about themselves it's really hard um introducing them because like, they don't have traits, so I don't know who the Sims are at all. <laughs> but I'm just going to imagine it. Um, 
Mr. Max has a GPA of 3.0. He's currently a sophomore. He just started his sophomore year, <laughs> and he is in the psychology major. I thought of this basically because he had this goal of, like, being a captain hero. Weird. A side note, Vivian also wants to be a captain er hero. Is it true love? Probably not. Uh, <laughs> they are really low on their aspirations right now just because, like, Julia kind of threw them off and in their careers. Max never really, um, he got a B in his first freshman year of college so I mean he wasn't getting it real good if you know what I'm saying um, like he was never very intellectual but Vivian was doing really good with an A plus and then she got a C last semester so that's terrible she's a literature major I picked this for her just because I thought it would be different and kind of like you know intellectual I keep saying intellectual <laughs> um, because she's kind of like I have a feeling like she's she <laughs> excuse her lips they're literally massive but they're um kind of lip <laughs> they're um not a l they're like a sim who vivian's a sim who like kind of is better than everyone else she's like the a plus student she doesn't want to talk to you so i just yeah she doesn't have a good relationship with tabitha max's sister she's like get out of my way i'm getting max but i mean whatever so she's just kind of that um language oriented sim just like a pluses <laughs> her parents probably are disappointed in her i mean having kids in college what are you gonna do but then uh tabitha here is doing well um she got an a plus her first semester and that's the best semester and then second semester she got a b just because she was bu so busy taking care of julia but this semester she's like no this is your this is your sim you got to take care of her so She's doing good so far. Uh, oh, she's actually going off to class right now. She's an art major. I thought of that because she's kind of shy, like her brother, but she's intellectual. She's got the pleasure aspiration. She wants to have 50 first dates. I don't know where that came from. And uh, Max, I showed you there. And actually, I can click on Julia, which is weird. Uh, if anybody knows how to pronounce her last name, leave it in the comments. I have a feeling I'm going to get zero comments because <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I don't know why she has creativity already. Maybe that's just a glitch. She is a Tor... No. Aries. Whoopsies. Um, so that's pretty much her. That's them. Uh, their life. We got family man Max. He's a good kid, but he gets distracted. Then we got Tabitha, really creative, just like our mom. And then Vivian, who's kind of crazy. Stay out of her way. And then we got Julia. So she is hopefully going to be the new light for their generation. Number one, two three four fourth generation earliest new generation so yeah things are going to be terrible when um all the sims move out and take go their own separate ways because there's six of them and <laughs> uh, no story progression so i'm gonna have to find figure out a way around that that's gonna be super hard anyway though um that is it for this house tour Hughes household Hughes slash Kim that's awkward um but if you want to see more don't forget to comment down below and I will see you all next time bye